creating all-inclusive access to a school playground, purchasing musical instruments for more students to use, and improving a school's agriculture program, all important projects for students across our region. Q2's Jenny Fix shows us which schools are in the running for this month's One School at a Time grants from Cloud Peak Energy and KTVQ. Newman Elementary would like to purchase some ORF instruments for their music department. A greater variety of instruments could allow for more educational value for the students. And with the rhythms, we go into fractions and how a quarter note is one-fourth and a half note is one-half, and so we get that math aspect in there as well. The different instruments would give students a chance to explore different genres. It's not only the motor skills, but it's cross-curricular. So we talk about math, and we can talk about jazz with social studies, and we talk about the ballet. The hands-on experience gives students the opportunity of learning how to work together. It's important for kids to learn that it's not just one or two people in an ensemble. It's a whole group effort to make something sound good and unique. Rose Park Elementary would like to purchase inclusive playground equipment such as wheelchair ramps, borders, and sensory stimulating equipment. One main expense of their project will be a wheelchair friendly material instead of gravel or wood chips. Looking at all the abilities and we want to integrate every kiddo in the school, whether they're in a wheelchair, whether they're visually impaired, um, or just need a little extra sensory. Not only are we centrally located around the other four locations that have the independent living students, but we're so close to Big Sky Little League baseball fields and the park. The playground would enable more social interaction between children of all levels of development. Kiddos, regardless of ability level, regardless of disabilities, should be able to play together. And right now, that's not a reality here. That's something they do not have right now. And I think that that's unfair and sad and I think these kiddos should be able to not only have something to play with even at all but to play together. Rygate Public Schools would like to use the funds to develop their agricultural station. We don't have a full sports program really the the most vibrant and active program we have is FFA so we decided we could integrate the agriculture class, science classes, um, the elementary sciences by building a working school farm. They will have to employ someone to finish digging a well for the area's water development. They hope to use the funds to assist with that cost. Put electrical in, we did all the fencing, and when I say we, the kids did everything. They did all the welding, they did all the construction, they did all the hard work. We tried to dig a well by hand with a... The finished product will also consist of a community garden and a livestock and equestrian facility. It will be something for all to enjoy that anybody can come to and see what's going on. Come and see what the kids are doing. Come and see what your kids are doing. Come and see what they can do if you give them a chance and a little bit of resources and the rest is just their hard work. Jenny Fick, MTN News, Billings. Okay, those are great projects. Absolutely. Thanks, Jenny. Now, if you'd like to help these kids reach their goals, you can also donate to any of the, these projects. And to do that or to nominate and vote for your favorite school, Log on to oneschoolatatime.org. Up next in weather.